Hi everyone, it's Linda with StampWithLindaWalsh.com. I wanted to show you this project. The technique I'm going to try um, and show you today is how we um, Stampin' Up! came out with the bottle caps. And basically what you'll get is, I put mine in a bag and I showed on another video how to, um, how I organize my embellishments. And I can't believe I can't even open this bag. There we go. <laughs> So here they go, they come in different colors, but see how that's popped up and raised? Well, I'm going to show you how to um, make it flatter. But before I do that, this is part of my little Valentine series. I wanted to show you what we're going to make. Today we'll make this. Um, I do have an interactive forum now that um, instead of selling my tutorials all separately, I'd like to just put them all underneath this um, forum and you can sign up for the monthly and you'll get all these um, Tutorials, videos, PDF formats, um, and there's you know a bunch of chats and people joining in and talking and forums and I'm hoping to get a nice nice little community going there. Um, but you know it's just starting out, so I'm I'm offering a three month subscription for the price of one, and I hope you can join us. This will be coming up on the forum. Uh, it's going to be a little treat bag. See. It's really cute. You can just put in your, your treats, whatever you'd like to put in there. I love the red glimmer paper. And here's another card. Now this card, yeah, um, you know, I've seen many cards with the envelope. But since our new designer paper comes with these hearts already cut out as a die cut, I want to reintroduce the layout again. So this is, yes, it's, it's a reusable layout. And then I just wanted to show you this. This is a nice little cute little... Um, um, rose, little rose for um, Valentine's. Put in a little potted plant or whatever. So these are my upcoming Valentine little projects. So I hope you can join us on the forum. It's uh, www.stampwithlindawalsh.ning.com for the forum to sign up. And my website is stampwithlindawalsh.com. Alright, so let's get started on our little project. So here is the um, new designer paper. That is in the current mini. Here's my little kit. Here we go. All right. So a couple of items we'll just put together here. This is our pool party on the base of the cardstock, and then obviously our black, basic black. glue sticking out the end I want to fix so like I said the PDF will be all ha will have all the dimensions on there and I also um, that will be in the forum and then on the video I do put the materials I use down at the bottom of the screen and there is that so here's our base now this is how I did the actual card this, by the way, is the set from all Hearts of Flutter, and they also come with all the dies for it, so that's nice. Each piece gets cut out with using your Big Shot, so that really works out great. So let's do our little pieces. Now this set is actually retired. I didn't realize it, but it's the Just Perfect Alphabet, so I haven't updated my little mini stamps yet. L-O-V-E. Alright, so I'll just bring this in like this. And actually I just realized I um, have Just For You at the bottom of my card here. And that's from the new mini. It's a single stamp set, Just For You. I really liked it. I thought it was cute. Um, I usually stamp that on before I put everything down because what if I make a mistake? But I have to tell you, I just didn't think of it. Um, but that's alright. We're going to wing it. We can use the big shot. No big deal. I'm just looking for my dimensionals. Okay. And what I did was I popped up the heart. Whoops, I'm going to take that dimensional off. I put that something like this. And then I just glued down my, this heart is from the um, Hots of Flutter die and uh, framelits 
that Stampin' Up! came up with to match the set. And then this is the E for the love, and I just popped it up with another dimensional. A lot of dimensionals with this card. So basically I'm trying to create a little banner effect. And then this one's going to go underneath just a tad because I want to make sure I have enough room for our, um, what do you call it, our bottle cap. So we'll do something like that. Okay, so let's do our V. Whoops, this way. V. And then these I cut from the heart. Um, I think it's the embossed lid. I'll put it on the bottom. And I'm just going to do a, um, probably just a glue dot on that. Okay, I forgot my glue dot, so... Normally that wouldn't happen. I could blame it on a pet if I wanted. <laughs> okay. Um, this is glued on there. And then I have my L, which is also going to be popped up. I'm going to do that. Whoops, upside down. Do that like that. And then this is... Same boss that died, or um, I just did it in the primrose, and then this one is in real red. And this one I put like right here. All right, so let's go through and we'll run this through our big shot. Let's see how that's gonna go for us. Move the stuff out of the way. Okay put it in like this. What I did is I have all my, I have no tabs here. This, you're going to lay up. Can you see that? I'm going to put our other, actually I'm going to put my, I like to keep my nicer one on the bottom. And this you can tell has been used a lot. So I'll put that on the bottom like that. And then you're just going to roll it through. Okay, let's see what comes out. Voila, there you go. It's all flattened. Isn't that cool? So you can leave it up in, in pokey, I guess is the word, or you can flatten it out. I think it gives two nice looks. It kind of looks like a button there, doesn't it? And then to adhere this, see how it's a little bit um, concave there? I'm just going to put my dimensional so... You might want to put on two dimensionals. Let's see what it looks like. Like so. And I'm thinking I probably put to get put my flag a little too close, but that's alright. And then what I did was I took what happened to that piece. I cut out with a one-inch circle from the designer paper. This heart. And I also gonna pop that up too. Actually I might do a glue dot with that because this is kind of flat. I might do a couple of glue dots just to make sure it's going to stick. Put that right in the middle. And then I'm going to take my O and I will pop this up with dimensional. So the big highlight of this card is the bottle cap. I think that is so cool when you can do that and flatten it out. So that's a little technique. And then I'm going to use my stamp on the jig with the Just For You stamp set and my black ink. And I'm thinking I probably should have, I can probably get away with it, but I was thinking that I might, I should have done this first before I decorated, but I was so excited to show you because I might not be able to, which I think I will, but See, now I have to account for this to lie in there flat because it's jutting up against this, but I think I can make it work. There you go. It might even be just fun, too, to put maybe a heart down here, but I think it's perfect just the way it is. So there's our highlight. That's the um, bottle cap for you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And like I said, if you'd like to join the forum, we're going to learn how to make this little guy. 
in our bag and then another card um, and you'll find all the tutorials on there like I said it's just getting started so it's um, it's a work in progress but everyone's nice on there and they just it's a fun place to be and I hope you can join us see you on the next video bye bye